We need compassion and humanity, and we need to tell the truth of who we are as a people. And uh, this is what El Norte did in its time. And once again, we hope that we fill the theaters on September 15th. Hi, everyone. I'm here today to talk with director Gregory Nava but for this movie uh, called El Norte. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. And I love Brazil. Yes. And, you know, I've worked a lot with Sonia Braga. She's a very, very dear friend, and uh, I have a lot of friends in Brazil. So it's a real pleasure to be here speaking with you today. Yes. Have you been to Brazil before? Uh, no, I haven't. But I've got an open invitation to come, so I'm going to definitely uh, be going very, very soon. You should go. You should I'm go. dying <laughs> to go. Are you kidding? Yeah. That's got to be the most wonderful country in the world, you know? Yes, it's one of them. That, that one of them, yes. Yeah, it's one of them. And then the food is great. The people are great. I know that because <laughs> every Brazilian I know are fantastic. Really, really wonderful. Yeah, but let's talk about El Norte. It's yes. like I watched the movie again. I rewatch it because I watched it a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I rewatch it, and then I think it's like so, like <laughs> so relevant right now. You know, it's very timely this re-release of the film because once again we have a crisis on our southern border, like we did when we made El Norte 35 years ago, and once again we need the film's message of compassion and humanity that had such an impact when it was originally released, and now again. Uh, we need we need that message so so strongly today. Yeah, and they, and then when you rewrote the script like years ago, thirty five years ago, the inspiration was your family, correct? And yes, absolutely. Because I come from the border, and uh, I've seen this my whole life. I have a, come from a border family, and I have a lot of family in Tijuana, and so I've seen people crossing the border. But also in the nineteen thirties was a period where there were a t another attack against Latinos. And again, we were blamed, and again, we were scapegoated, this time by the Hoover administration during the Great Depression, and they deported almost two million people of Mexican heritage, most of whom were citizens, and one of whom was my grandfather. And so our family was split apart, and I never knew him. My grandmother had to raise seven children by herself. It was tremendous poverty. One of them died. My father was raised without a father. And despite that fact, he loyally served this country in World War II. You know, think of that. Yeah. This country it's took his father away, and yet he still served this country. And that's who we really are as a people. We're very loyal, and we f have helped build this country, and we have spilled our blood for this country. And yet today we're branded as criminals by the horrible racism of our president. So we need compassion and humanity, and we need to tell the truth of who we are as a people. And uh, this is what El Norte did in its time. And once again, we hope that we fill the theaters on September 15th. Oh, yeah, that's at, for sure. At uh, 2 p.m. Sunday, so that once again, its message of compassion can resonate and ring strong in our country. Yeah, you know, and then uh, while I was watching the movie, the shots are so, the, 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 the dialogue, everything is so, is still like so new to, to us. Yes, like, it doesn't seem like an old movie. No, It seems like all. it was made today, yes. At all, that, that's what, that's, that's I think is the beauty of the movie. Yes. Like because it, I can watch it, everybody can watch it and mm -hmm. it's so relevant and then everything's so timeless. Yes, and it's, it's a very entertaining film. Yes. You know, because it's got a lot of humor and people will laugh and cry and I know they'll have a wonderful time in the, in the theater. And after the movie, we do a round table with me talking to Zayda Silvia Gutierrez and David Villalpando, the two actors who play Rosa and Enrique, about all the incredible adventures we had making El Norte. Oh yeah, that's true. And you think like this movie was made like 30, 35 years ago and the industry changed it a lot. But do you think it was enough, the change? You know, um, I don't think so. I think that the industry needs to change more, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, we haven't made as many inroads as we should. We're still a very tiny percentage of the roles that you see. And of course, most of them are negative, you know, narcos. And we have to stop that. We have to tell the truth because, and we need to see more of our stories, more movies like El Norte. So that's another good reason for people to fill the theaters because it will show that we want more movies like this that tell the truth about who we are. 
send a message to Hollywood to make more films like El Norte. No, yeah, that's right. Because we are like doctors, we are dentists, we are journalists, we yes. are directors, producers, and uh, not just Latinos, like we, like we can be represented. Yes, and, and, and all of those filmmakers like myself and, and uh, Nobel Prize winners and doctors, as you yeah. say, were all the children of immigrants. And that's true whether you're Latino or not. The United States is a country of immigrants, people who come here in poverty, but who yearn to be free, as the poem at the Statue of Liberty says. And right now we're in a period where it seems like our administration and our president want to extinguish the, f the light of the torch of freedom of the Statue of Liberty. And El Norte is a film, and we must all come together and say, no, we want the torch of freedom to stay lit. We want that fire of freedom to stay within our hearts. And that's what El Norte is all about. Yes, so El Norte will be, will be showing in theaters on the, in this country, September 15th. At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. I'm gonna put a link down on, on, my, on, my, on my description so you can find the, the closest movie theater that you can watch it. Yes. And also, now I want you to invite to watch El Norte. I want to invite all to come and see El Norte on September 15th at 2 p.m. Sunday. It will be a beautiful film, a beautiful experience, and it's a universal story of all Latinos, all of us together, and our journey uh, that we make to the United States and the beautiful culture that we come from and our beautiful families. I know that you'll all have a wonderful time seeing El Norte, and in doing so, you'll also be sending a message to our government that we want compassion with respect to, our, to, the, to the refugees that are suffering right now on our southern border. Thank you all. I love Brazil. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada. And let's build a bridge, not a wall, correct? Let's build bridges, not walls. Yes. Obrigada. Thank you.